so here is where we left off about a week or so ago. Prospect Hill Road. That was where I ran out of juice and ended my little jaunt. And today I'll finish. There you see the tracks continuing this way. Across the street. So here we go. Dodging traffic, after all, this is a small city. And there's a slight elevation, so they must have gouged the street out a bit at some point. It might have been a grade crossing at one time. And this section is pretty much a de facto mountain bike trail. There's still plenty of green around. And you hear someone using an actual rake off in the distance instead of a leaf blower. It's a nice touch. Now there's another signal device platform relic. Next to a tie. And more of trees growing up betwixt the ties and the rails. It's a pleasant little walk. There's a kind of washout. It runs along the edge of a number of medium size office buildings. This is, I think, a Bank of America thing over there. So it might have utility for people biking to work. Particularly since this part of Waltham, over time, is given over to commercial zoning and whatnot. Oh, there's a squirrel running along the fence line. Hi, squirrel. <laughs> steps that existed at one time. Might have been 
used. The line essentially was shut down in 1971. And that stuff looks like it might predate that point. And here you have a sort of neighborhood folk trail along the backside of an apartment complex. That old stone wall may have been part of an early, earlier era's infrastructure. Quite a tall fence. I wonder what they thought was gonna scale it. Maybe it was a railroad company thing, who knows. A forlorn child thing abandoned by the side of the tracks. Perfect for Transportation Tuesday. By way of orientation, this is our direction back towards Boston. And this is our direction west, 100 something miles, ultimately to Northampton. folk path that evolved along that apartment complex. This is in general reasonably porous other than these old weird chain link fences that don't seem to matter to anything. So there are frequent points of access that clearly have been part of prevailing community use patterns. This is a cool element. Some ancient railing, guard railing or something made of railroad iron. Bolted together. Jeez, I wonder how long this thing's been here. And you can see goes right down to the street and this is also a likely vehicle access point. I believe there's also a point that should tie into Prospect Hill Park somehow. And that's one of the things I plan on 